Hi FlossTube, it's Lynn, the Canadian Stitcher. I'm here for my weekly update and to share some plans with you, what I have planned for March. So I did, um, yay, I uh, got over 500 subscribers last week, so I am going to be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. And thank you all for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. It makes it worth it <laughs> to do this. So. so for this week, I do have my weekly Christmas ornament. This one is a little Santa sack with some toys in it and a candy cane. And we'll do the world map. So there's my, my map again. And I've got Chantel V in Belgium. Darlene is in Hadera, Israel. But she's originally from Wisconsin. So I'm sure there's a story there. I'd love to hear that. How did you end up going from Wisconsin to Israel? Maybe for work? Hmm? KIs9591 is in Indianapolis, Indiana. Stitching for Sanity, that's a good name, is in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Kathy B is in Brisbane, Australia. Sarah Lou Stitches in Clacton on the Sea, Essex in UK. Clacton on Sea. Hmm. Glenda B is in Coldwater, Ontario. And J Stitches is in Taunton, United Kingdom. Uh, Christine L is in Mankato, Mankato, Minnesota. And Carrie R in Edmonton. So that's my uh, my map. I can't fit too many more pins in there. I'll probably still keep reading out um, the names and, and where people are from if you want me to do that. Otherwise, we could. it's been fun. We could let this portion of it go if, if we want to maybe start it up again in a year or something. Okay, so my weekly progress last week, I didn't get very much done at all. I showed you that. Um, on Sunday, I did rip out the stitches um, on that long dog sampler death by cross stitch. It takes a long time to rip out stitches. It takes longer to rip them out than it does to put them in. So when I was finished with that, I did go ahead and I worked on my needles there. I worked on this little um, little cranberries one again. So I did stitch hmm, all of this bit here and this part here with the jams and jellies on the shelf. This is from uh, cross Country Stitching, October 2003, Cranberries. So these ones stitch up really quick. Um, they're just very simple. There's not a whole lot of, you know, blending colors or switching to a lot of different colors. They're kind of basic, so excuse me, I have to get your nose again. I did find, I was going through some things and I found the, the magazines that had um, some of the completed items that I did, so I thought I'd share these with you also. Um, so this was, this was Blue Door 1, that's what I called them, I called this one Blue Door 1. And this was October 2002, Cross Country Stitching. And the one that I called Blue Door Number 2 is October 2001. So these ones um, I have fully framed in, in up in my kitchen, I showed them in a previous video. And then the one I showed uh, last week that I could fill it fully finished uh, was the Country Pantry and this was February 2003 if you're able to find these magazines on on eBay or something like that. I also okay so I worked on that one on Sunday and I think I might have worked on it a little bit on Monday evening also just because um, I was working on my Hade and Lucy's hair was bothering me so much that I wanted to. <laughs> it seemed like every stitch I was getting hair in it and I had completely, I changed my clothes, I lint rolled my clothes, I keep him in this little container where he's sitting there and I don't know, it was it was annoying me. I don't, this week I didn't have very much patience for anything so. Um, so I think I brought, actually I, yeah, I think I worked on that one a little bit on Monday evening and then I did end up working on um, Discovery. Don't tell me I don't have the chart. The 
the Discovery one um, in the evening, sometimes in my room. This is the one here. So it's this one. This is a Heaven and Earth design Discovery, and I call her Pashel. So when I'm working on this one, doing um, feathering over into the adjacent page. Hang on, I just gotta set this up properly here. So I'm actually got, I have four pages on the go. <laughs> um, so the yellow is what needs to be stitched, the pink and orange is what's already been done. So I'm almost finished the page this week. So it was started already last week. So I have to fill in this bit up here. And then down in, in here, there's lots of black coming in, into this part here. This is her pocket here with um, like um, some scroll work on the leather of her, her vest. And this is the pillar in here, one of the pillars. Anyway, so good progress on this one. Um, I'm finding that it's puckering a little bit. I'm wondering if my stitching is too tight. So I'm gonna have to take a closer look at that and see what's, what's actually happening with that. But that is one, two, three, fourth page across. And I'm working on that one on a um, juice snap. So I've got the fourth page across. It's page 39, I believe. And then I just I do the page below it with it, just because I mean it's what it's not even 20 rows, so I'm not counting this as being a, a full page. I'm just working it with that one. And I did make. Um, I don't have only needle minders I have are ones that I've made myself <laughs> but I mean I have the, the supplies the jewelry supplies so this is a little owl that I made and then I have these little um I like pansies I have these little stickers so I just stuck them onto some printed cardboard and just made my own little they're not needle minders that I put on my project but they go on my magnetic board I'm going to use them that way. So, cranberries. Christmas ornament. So, the plans for this week coming up. Okay, so it's going to be 1st of March on Friday. So, that'll be a new start for me. So, during uh, the first part of the week, I'm going to be working on the Siren and the Shipwreck by Mirabilia. started her I think it was before Christmas and I haven't gotten back to it. I am going to be making some changes changes to this one but I'm not 100% sure yet. Every time I look at it I change my mind of which way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to just continue. I'm going to um, carry on working on her tail and up. Um, work on the whole top part of her with the chandelier and then I'm going to figure this this part out here whether I'm going to be changing the colors on that um, back fin. Um, it's done in greens coordinates but I'm just I'm not 100% sure that I like it so so that'll be during the week and then on March 1st I'm gonna have a new start so it's going to be Thomas Kincaid Lamplit Brook that one so again this is one of those stacked ones So it's already, the picture's already pre-stamped on there and then you just go in and add, add the cross-stitching details up here in the tree and down here and the flowers and that. So and this isn't my first rodeo with, with these, so I now know that um, you just follow the chart loosely, the diagram, and kind of go more what is actually the colors that are on the, um, the stamped. And when I showed you this before, I think I told you this must have been an early one because the construction sheet is it's like it's odd. Yeah, look. So it just kind of gives you like a little group or a place of stitches. So we'll see how that one works. Hopefully that'll be easy enough to follow. And then for March 21st, that is the first day of spring. It's usually still winter here by March 21st. But I am going to be doing a new start for spring. Uh, the gold collection 
from Dimensions, Chickadees and Lilacs. Rosemary, but designed by Rosemary Millet. And this one's going to be a gift for somebody else. So. Um, yeah, I believe, yeah, so the Dimensions Gold. So it's going to be, there's lots of half stitches in this one. And some full stitches. I know that doesn't look like a whole lot of back stitching, but this one I'm going to have to copy, uh, make myself a working copy. And I might actually make two working copies and uh, try using a pink highlighter. On those other um, Dimension Golds that I've been working on, I'm just using the yellow highlighter and I'm finding it really difficult to find the last couple of little stitches that I haven't gotten to yet. So I think it might be a good idea to have two copies of this highlighted out with pink so that it's going to cover up the green and the, and the blue or whatever back stitching um, guides. But if I have a separate copy of it, then I can use one copy for the stitching and then one copy for the back stitching after. I'm going to do that because I'm having a difficult time. So um, once I get, you know, most of the page highlighted. So I'll take those to Staples and I'll get them to make me some big color copies. I, um, for March also, I will spend one, there'll be one weekend, I'm not sure which weekend it'll be, um, doing on the a Stitch in Time challenge um, that I have going on with Terry Lee from Terry Lee Crafts. So I've kind of, I put that one away for the month. I'll work on her again a little bit in March. I'm probably not going to get caught up to where Terry is. She's, she's winning the race so far. And I did some forward planning into April and into May. But I'll talk, I'll, I'll talk about that when I actually get to those months because a lot of my plans are fluid and I change things and figure new things out. And yeah. So the 500 subscriber giveaway. So thank you so much for, for subscribing. This one is a Nora Corbett chart. Um, this is going to be the giveaway prize. And this one is, what's her name? Amaryllis. It's a little flower fairy. Yeah. So if you're interested in winning this one, uh, just leave a comment below. Don't say it's a giveaway. You must be 18 or older. You need to be subscribed to my channel. Um, and let me know. What is your favorite season? We say fall here more commonly than we say autumn. I know in different places they use different names for it. We call it fall mostly. And that is actually my favorite season because of the colors. <laughs> but by winter, I don't like winter. I need to start going to Arizona or something in the winter and get out of here. Be one of those Canadian snowbirds that does that. Um, so I like fall for the colors and I like the way the color is changing and, and that, but I certainly look forward to spring and the cold weather stopping and the days getting longer and, and that kind of thing. So just let me know what your favorite season is in the comments below. You can also let me know where you are in the world. Um, and we'll leave, I'll leave this open until next Saturday. That'll be March 2nd at midnight. And then I'll uh, I'll do a random draw again for the winner, and um, yeah, and then look forward to doing another one when when I get to 750 subscribers, if I can do that. Um, okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much. As I was just kind of a short video, I just didn't have a whole lot of um, cross stitching things going on. So have a good week, and I'll see you next weekend again. Bye.